if you want a degree of camshaft, there are a couple of different ways to do it. First off, you actually have to have the adjustability to be able to change the intake center line of a camshaft. If you have a stock gear, a GM gear, you don't even have the ability to change the degreeing. When degreeing a camshaft, the first step is to find true top dead center. You can either use a piston stop or you can use a, a dial indicator. A true piston stop is a more accurate method because it takes any of the bearing clearance and, and any slack um, out of the uh, system. So what we'll do is we'll rotate the crankshaft clockwise until we hit our piston stop. And you don't want to crank it quickly because you don't want to bend the stop or hurt the piston or anything like that. So you can see from this direction, we've hit the piston stop 40 degrees before top dead center. We'll now rotate it the opposite direction and see where it stops. And you can see it's about 38 degrees. The average of 38 and 40 is 39. So we'll have to move our pointer to 39 degrees. It's always a good idea to go back and double check uh, each direction. So we'll go back and, and um, you can see it stopped just shy of 39 there. and right at 39 there. Now that we have found top dead center, we can remove the piston stop and find out where our 50 thousandths open point is on the degree wheel. Eight degrees before top dead center at 50 thousandths lift. So I'm going to rotate the crankshaft over. So you can see that we've got our degree wheel eight degrees before top dead center According to our cam card, we should have 50 thousandths lift at the indicator. You can see it actually only shows about 45. The great thing about this comp ploy sex adjust timing chain is we can actually change the position easily and dial it in on our indicator. Snug up our bolts and we will double check to make sure when we get to eight degrees before top dead center, we're back at 50 thousandths. We know that uh, we're getting the intake and exhaust valve open and close points uh, where we want them to be because the intake and exhaust valve open and close points is what dictates how the engine's gonna make power and where it makes power for any given combination.